Hey, what's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today, crossing over to the business side of things. All right, since I moved into this new, bigger boat, I like to call it, we get bombarded with questions on, you know, how much did it cost you to make that transition? So today, I'm simply gonna go over each piece of equipment and then tally it up exactly, you know, what it costs if you wanna open up a facility like this. So make sure you stay tuned, check this one out. All right, hey, first expense, you wouldn't think of it. These vinyl decals of my guy, Barucky, AJ Andrews, Danny, Longball, and then the man, Mancata. Here, we're looking at 250 bucks a piece for the small ones, and then the Mancata double window one was 400 bucks. Hey, signage, Summers Method Performance Center up there, and then we got our logo on the wall right there, all right? Those were $500 for those two. Hey, cameras. I got the cameras for a deal because I know a guy that knows a guy that does cameras. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. In total, that was right around three grand. All right, take a look around. Everything is black, painted black. When I first got into this building, it was all white. So you're talking gallons upon gallons of black paint. First, we had a paint appraiser come in here. He's like, to paint this all place black, it's gonna be 14,000 bucks. So I'm like, hey, screw that. I'm just gonna do it myself. So I went to Home Depot, got a ton of paint, five gallon buckets and I got a lift and I came in here with a spray gun, closed my eyes and just started spraying. So I did it myself. So that took my cost from 14,000 all the way down to $5,000 to do it myself. But I had a lot of sweat equity in that. It took me about two weeks to do. So you can go ahead and pay a guy 14 grand to do it or you could do it yourself for five grand. Fans, I like to make a joke. Everybody asks, what was the most expensive piece of equipment in this gym? It was this freaking big ass fan right here. It's Mac Air, okay? The reason why this fan was so expensive is we bought it during COVID. So we had to ship it from California. The shipping costs were like 1500 bucks for you know a $4,000 fan. So in this installed shift here, we were right around 5,500 bucks. Next, the electric and lighting. The landlord didn't take care of any of that. So I had to put, you know, this light strip in here. I had to run electric. Uh, we're gonna run it the whole way around the unit. In total with the electric and lighting, the lights themselves were around $2,000 plus the electric was 1,200. So in total, we're at $3,200 for the lighting switcher, fixture and to run the electric around the outside of the building. Next, we're looking at the decals, right? The big Summers Method logo with my signature. We have the Game Rewards the Grind up on top there that everybody looks at, my signature quote. Then we have Feed the Trees right there on the wall. Luckily, I had an athlete that I train in here paint all of this. So in total, the artwork's right around $3,000. All right, hey, if you look down, we got this nice black turf, okay? We have 80 feet by 32 of this nice gym black turf. For the turf itself was right around $7,000. To get it professionally laid, it was right around 1,200 bucks. Right here, this nice big mound, nobody has a mound this big in the area. I wanted to make that sure. This is a big league grade mound the whole way down, one inch every foot. Luckily, I had a handyman come in, kid that I train, you know, very good with this type of stuff. So obviously I took care of him when he was done with it. But if you were gonna do this, you know, build it on your own, you're looking at about $900 worth of plywood. And then the horse stall mats on top of it, everything is crazy inflated. You're looking at another thousand. So we'll call this mound fixture right here. If you were gonna do it by yourself, 1,900 to $2,000. Pitching machine, we got the full size hack attack. If you're gonna buy this online, you're looking right around 3,400 bucks. Baseballs, we have a lot of good balls here. Big league baseballs that are $12 a piece. Um, so in total for our baseballs, we're looking right around $1,000. Hey, if you look up, right, what are we standing in right now? It's a batting cage. This is a massive custom batting cage. This is 80 feet by 32 feet wide. Just the batting cage alone was right around $7,000. Then with the hardware uh, that we use, we went to Pinellas Fastener. 
we're in it about another thousand dollars so that brings us to eight grand plus all of the l screens those are like four hundred dollars a piece those are like 200 so we'll call it eight we'll call it another grand so in total say nine thousand dollars for the netting for the cages all right next if you look down what we use for our flooring is what every gym in the country basically uses right these horse stall mats horse stall mats right now as we speak are 70 dollars a mat we have you know 125 of these so 125 times 70 125 times 70 looking at eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars okay just in flooring alone you look at this gym man biggest thing that pops out right we got this rogue equipment right the rolls royce of equipment okay one step under sornex right we have the best of the best here with that becomes a high ticket price right so in rogue stuff let's go over it right we got the rogue storage rack okay we have the daisy chain connectors up top that are just cross members we have one two three of the rogue monster racks this has the connection off the back for storage plates the one in the middle we have a rogue rhino within a rack right here this whole thing right here is like four thousand dollars just for this setup right here then we have the rogue gh or the rogue reverse hyper right here we have a rogue deadlift platforms we have another rogue belt squat we have a rogue i forget what this is called this is like the monster light series i think rack we have four rogue ohio bars we got this rogue ghd right here we have a that might be it for the rogue stuff we have rogue safety bar all right benches right here these are the elite fts college benches all right these are a thousand dollars a piece okay so call it three grand right here within benches hey none of this means crap right without weight here's our dumbbells we got the old school antique yorks they don't even make these suckers anymore dude look at them they got rust on them these are probably my favorite thing in the gym right for these york dumbbells me personally, I got a deal off an ex major league baseball player, but adding it up, if you don't have a deal like that, right? We got dumbbells up to 150. So in total right here, we have 4,740 pounds worth of dumbbells. Okay, so all you do, right, is times that by 2.5 times 2.5 equals, so $11,850 worth of dumbbells right here up to 150 so 12 grand for this dumbbell rack all right and then the racks themselves i think were would be like 200 to 300 dollars just call it 12 grand even for these dumbbells all right cable machines we have one two three four cable machines in this gym first one is this legend fitness um lat pull down and low row okay this machine right here is $3,700 online. Right here, we got a free motion cable crossover. Fortunately, this is only the single stack. I'm not sure if they make this white model yet. I got this at a refurbished exercise store for $2,000. Here is the Hoist MI5. I do not recommend this machine. I think this machine sucks bad. It's terrible, okay? This machine right here was $2,599. Favorite cable machine in the whole entire place is this Kaiser machine. This is the older model, right? I got this refurbished. It cost me $4,000 for the machine itself. And then you have to add an air compressor, right? This is just the air compressor that I got at Home Depot. The Kaiser air compressor is like $2,500. It's no noise whatsoever but I decided to just go ahead and get a single gallon um, air compressor. It makes a little bit of noise, but you know, really who cares, it works. I just had to kind of jimmy rig the fitting to fit the Kaiser machine. But in all with this Kaiser machine, we're looking at around $4,500. All right, so for the bands right here, we're the Elite FTS bands. I think these are the best bands on the market uh, in my personal opinion. 
Okay, so with the bands, we have six of every color. So that puts us at $601, so 600 bucks. All right, so weight plates that go on barbells, right? The Olympic plates. We have regular ones. We're just gonna call it a mix between urethane and then just the regular plastic plates. We have 1,400 pounds of the regular plates. So urethane to plastic plates are anywhere from, you know, two to $3 per pound, right? So we'll just call it two, we'll call it the low end. So times that number, uh, 1,475 times two. So we're looking at roughly $3,000, we'll call it 29.50. So three grand worth of the regular um, Olympic plates. All right, so bumper plates, the place that you can drop, right? We have super nice Penlay USA plates. They don't even make those anymore with the um, metal center. So I don't, I'm not 100% sure what those are worth now. And then I have Valor bumper plates. A good estimate for these plates are $2.50 per pound. We have 1,100 pounds. So just times that number by 2.5. And you're looking right around another three grand for bumper plates. So $2,825. All right, specialty bars, right? We have two Titan Fitness Safety Squat Bars. These right here are $300 a piece, minus the Rogue, because I already included the Rogue with the Rogue prices. I included the Rogue barbells with the Rogue prices as well. We have one SS Yoke Bar from Elite FTS. That bar is $350. Then we have the Big Trap Bar from Rogue. This is roughly $350 as well. Um, we have an Elite FTS uh, football bar. This bar right here is around $250. This Valor Fitness bar is around $125. These um, Elite FTS Farmers Carry bars, I believe, were $250. And then the Valor uh, Olympic barbells, this one's a deadlift barbell. This bar was $300. So in total, with the specialty bars and the Valor barbells, we're right around $2,000 and some change. So we'll call it even two grand. All right, hey, so we'll talk kettlebells now. We have the kettlebells up to 28 kg. I got a deal on these. These are perform better kettlebells. Um, with the kettlebells, I think I spent $1,000. Med balls, med ball prices are going to be really fluctuated between the brands. Um, we have a plethora of med balls here. We have all the way from four to uh, 45 pounds of the slam balls from Valor. And then we have the big, the big sand balls all the way up to 40 pounds. So with med balls, we'll throw on another $1,000. All right, exercise balls and BOSU balls. These are right around 35 bucks per ball. So we'll call it 200 uh, through everything that we have BOSU balls. All right, talking technology here at the gym, we have Mark Pros. We have two of those. We have a Stalker radar gun. We have iPads. We have um, velocity based readers. So, in total, with all that, you're looking close to $10,000. Valor exercise bike, it's their assault bike. This was $800. Hey, Facebook Marketplace find. We found this shelf at Facebook Marketplace. Um, we found table at Facebook Marketplace and we found our couch, Facebook Marketplace, some buckets at Facebook Marketplace, ladder, Facebook Marketplace. Um, so in total with Facebook Marketplace, couch was 400. Call it another thousand dollars for Facebook Marketplace finds. Hey, my friends over at Driveline spend a shitload of money over there. So I got all the plyo balls. I got like four sets of plyo balls. I have the mini tramps. Um, I have the Smash Factor balls that they just released. So in total through Driveline, we'll call that another thousand. All right, so then there's a lot of miscellaneous things you never think about. Okay, right? Attachments for every machine that we have. Bulgarian split squat pad, you know, box squat. We have um, cleaner, we have smelling salts, we have chalk, we have towels, we need paper towels, we need toilet paper. Um, just thinking off the top of the head, we got TVs, we got, you know, we fill the fridge with Gatorade and water for the athletes every week. We have an a, um, AED defibrillator, 
which was like two twenty five hundred bucks itself. We got a Sintas unit that was a thousand dollars for first aid. So in all, we'll just throw a rough number out there for miscellaneous, close to another five thousand dollars. All right, that should be about everything right here. Is the grand total of what everything costs. And keep in mind that doesn't involve, you know, I got to pay rent every month. I got to pay electric. I got to pay water. I got to pay employees. There's a lot more that goes into it than just the cost of equipment, just the cost of opening up the doors, right? This isn't to discourage anyone from opening up their own gym or own facility. You know, however, I just want to make it aware, you know, it's not as easy as a lot of people think that it is. It takes a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of sweat equity. So, it's definitely possible, you know, go chase your dreams. Always remember that I pump out two videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe. Appreciate you. Catch you next week. Game Rewards are grind. It knows how much you've invested.